Hey loves, thanks for watching and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well today. So getting into the video, this is the brush that I'm using and this is Rose Quartz. It's from the Bear With Me collection from Kairos Nail Supplies. I do have them linked in my description along with a coupon code. And this is one of my favorite cover colors out of that collection. It is really beautiful. I will definitely be getting another one of these ones. You can just see how easy and buttery it is to work with. And there's just a tiny bit of it looks like rose gold foils to me it is just really beautiful so with this set it is the set that my daughter's friend wanted and because i am not really good at the artwork i wanted to practice it first and just make the sure that the collars and everything that i had that she would like so when she showed me the picture it was press-ons for sheen but i'm almost positive it was a not polished design and this now is all of the pink color, so I'm just going to cover it in the rose quartz. And this was kind of a simple acrylic application, but the artwork made it the video so much longer, so I did have to speed everything up. So just remember to take your time. Now I'm going to take Milk Bath. This is also from Kairos Nail Supplies. This is one of my favorite milky whites. It is so buttery and easy to use and it's just the right color. So I'm going to cover this finger in the milky white.
and this one is going to ombre and it looked like the white ombre down just a little bit and the pink ombre over it so that's what i'm going to do here i'm just going to take the milky white and blend it down a little bit And I'm going to take Rose Quartz. It is a beautiful pink cover color and I'm going to cover the pinky. And you can just see when I set the bead down how beautiful this color is. There is no marbling and it is so easy to work with. So on this finger, I'm going to ombre the pink up into that milk bath color. And I'm going to go through and cap all of the nails in clear acrylic and I will just let you guys watch that.
And now I'm going to go through and file all of the nails. And I am using my Melody Susie M Series Nail Drill. And I do have that linked in my description along with the dust collector and armrest for anybody that is interested. And now I'm just going to go in with my hand file and make sure that my shape is even and there's nothing sharp on the sides or anything. And now I'm going to take OMG Pink Neon and Perfect White. They are from Madame Glam. Madame Glam's polishes are vegan, cruelty free, 21 free formula, palm oil free, and tema free. And to me, these polishes are amazing for any kind of nail art. So I am just taking some of that pink and white and I'm mixing it together to get that perfect baby pink color.
now I'm going to take model one's top coat and I'm going to top coat the all of them but the milky white one and somehow I ended up not recording all of that so I do apologize And with this part here, I apologize. I am not sure if I didn't record or accidentally deleted it, but I had just drawn the chest and now I am trying to get the shape of the nose and the eyes. So I left a lot of the struggles in here just so you guys can see like what things you can do to get what you want instead of wiping it all off, if that makes sense. And this reindeer part was my biggest struggle and if I'm here to tell you if I can do it anybody can you just have to keep working at it till you get the shape that you want to me I kept seeing more of like a Peppa the pig shape and I was trying to get it to look like a reindeer And you want to make sure when you do get the shape that you want, flash cure it really quick so you don't have to go back through and do it again because that is really time consuming. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to scoop up a little bit and I'm going to start filling in the inside of the reindeer. And as you do this, you can start perfecting your shape more too. Now I'm just going to start working on the stripes on the nail. 
So now I'm just gonna draw a straight line about where I want it to go, and then I can start thickening it up on each side. So you're just doing the same thing for this line. You just want to draw it all the way down and then you can add it on each side.
now you're just doing the same thing for the third one. And now I'm going to do the pinky the same way. Besides, I'm only going to do two of the pink stripes.
And now I'm going to go in with Perfect White from Madame Glam. And I'm going to use this to do the snowflakes, the snowflake and the little stars. And now you just want to take the clear acrylic and you just want to sprinkle it on top until you can see that it's all soaked up from the acrylic and then you can shake it off and you want to make sure you cure. Now I'm just going in with the little stars. Now I'm going to take this black gel paint and I'm going to do the antlers. I had to do these a few times just because I wasn't getting them far enough apart, if that makes sense.
And now I'm just going to do the little eye and the eyelashes. And this is some silver colored gel polish and I'm just going to use this to outline the deer and do the stripes and the nails.
Now you want to remember to cure after every finger. It is really important. And now I'm taking a thicker top coat and you want to put an even amount on the nail. So when I first did this, I used just glitter. And when I tried to carve it out, you really couldn't see it. So I added some white acrylic to it and less glitter. And when I sprinkled it on top, it's done a lot better. Now you just want to shake it off and make sure you clean up your sides so the nail doesn't look too bulky. And now I'm just taking a dotting tool. And the most important thing is to make sure you clean it after every line. So like you swipe down, you clean it, you swipe over, you clean it every time. You just want to make sure you keep it clean and you'll be able to see everything really nicely. Now I'm just adding a little bit of rhinestone glue and a red rhinestone on the end of the nose. And that's pretty much all it for today's video. So I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, please do. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.